Hello everyone, welcome to Groovy Sauce, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the George Foreman Individual Grill and Panini Maker. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Okay, so here we go, just cutting into the box, and the box itself is nice and thick, so if you're worried about it getting damaged during transit, I wouldn't worry about that simply because of how thick that box is. Here we go, just pulling the device out of the box, and there you can see the two cardboard supports that are on either side of the device. Once those are out of the way, though, we can get a better look at our grill and panini maker. It is in some plastic, but once we get it out of there, we can see the device in all of its glory. The only other things inside of the box are the instructions and the drip tray, and that pretty much sums it up for everything inside of the box. Setup here is super simple. All that you need to do is slide in the drip tray like so, and you're ready to go. The very first thing that I tested here on the grill was a ham and cheese sandwich, and after a couple of minutes, it was toasted to absolute perfection. But not only that, it was also wonderfully warm on the inside as well, as you can see here with my absolutely perfect cheese pole. The next thing that I wanted to test out the grill with were some steaks, but before I got the steaks on there, I just wanted to oil up the grill a little bit with some olive oil. Once it's all oiled up though, I can actually throw on my steaks, and it only took a couple of minutes in order to cook the steaks to about a medium doneness, and not only was it super convenient, these steaks were also incredibly delicious. So far, I've cooked about a dozen steaks on this thing, and each and every one of them have turned out absolutely perfect. Okay, so now moving on to the final review section of the video with some pros and cons. The first pro that I want to touch on is the simple design of the device. All you have to do is plug it in and wait for it to warm up and you're ready to go. It is really that simple. Not only is this device easy to use though, but it also does its job of cooking very well. Everything that I tested was cooked very thoroughly and very evenly. Not only that, but this thing also cooks incredibly fast, and that's due to the two individual heating elements here, above and below whatever it is that you're cooking. So if you're looking for something that cooks incredibly fast, you needn't look any further. And now moving on to the last positive point I wanted to make here, and that's the easy cleanup of this device. Since the entire cooking area is coated in a Teflon-like surface, cleanup here is an absolute breeze. Okay, so now moving on to my one and only negative point here, and that's just for some constructive criticism, and that's the size of the unit itself. If you need a rather large cooking area, or if you have a very large family in need of a large cooking area, perhaps this isn't for you. You're only going to be able to get a couple of smaller steaks or a couple of smaller sandwiches on this thing, but otherwise, I would say this is an absolutely perfect little unit. Okay, everybody, so that about does it here for this video. Make sure that you post any questions that you have about this grill down in the comments section below, and I will make sure to get on top of those questions as soon as I can. Also, before you go, consider subscribing to the channel if you'd like to see more content from me. I don't always do product reviews like this. More often than not, I'm doing fast food reviews, video game gameplay, and really just about anything else I feel like doing here on the channel. It's really a mixed bag, so to speak. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I will see you next time.